Welcome to WebAPA Tutorials. I am Venkat and this is part 15 Model Validations in WebAPI. We have seen how to create a HTTP POST method to create a student. To create a student, we are accepting the details in the form of a model. This model contains these properties and there are no validations given for student name or email or address. From the client end, they can also send empty values in the place of student name. They can send invalid email in the place of email. They can also send empty address. To restrict the client sending the invalid data, we can go for the validations. Let me run this one and show you. If I create a student without any name and saying the email as ABC and address as empty, if I want to create like this, this will be created. See that the details is invalid details. The student is created without any valid data. So student name empty is invalid and email abc is invalid email. So that should be at the return.com and coming to the address it is also empty so invalid. So if you get all the details if you get all students data you can see the first student details are correct and third student details just now created is invalid there is no student name no proper email id no address so to avoid these kind of situations we can go for the model validations so to add the validations to the model we can use attributes if the student name is required we can use the required attribute all these attributes we are using from this namespace system dot component model dot data annotations and for email there is an email address and if the address is also mandatory, we can use the required field for address. So like this, we can add the validations. Let us test now. I'm creating the new student. So this time I want to give empty name and invalid email address. ABC is invalid email address and empty address. Now I am clicking on execute. This time you can see it is saying 400 bad request. So why it is bad request? Because the client is sending invalid data. That's why it is a bad request. So email, the email field is not a valid email address. Coming to the address field, the address field is required. Coming to the student name field, the student name field is required. You have to fill in something. That's how we will get the errors. By adding the validations, we are forcing the client or customer to send us the correct data. But coming to this one, so we just added the attributes. We did not do anything inside the controller. We did not do anything inside the controller. How are those validations are working? How they are getting affected? So those are getting validated because of this attribute API controller attribute. So if you want to see that in action, let me comment this one. I have commented that. Let me rerun this. If I create this one, empty student name and let me fill in something. Um, I have filled the wrong email. Clicking on execute. This time you can see 201 created. And here you can see the new student got created so the validations are not working so whatever the validations we have added to rdtvo is not working this time because so we did not add the api controller this api controller will voluntarily add few required options or features so without api controller how can we validate this one without api controller we can validate it like if model state dot is valid there is a model state object so it has is valid property we can use this one so if it is valid then we can proceed further if it is not valid we can return we can return bad request 
so here when we are returning the bad request we can say these are the errors model state dot okay let's add the model state so i have commented the api controller this time and i am using this model state validation i am manually writing that let me go to create endpoint let me remove this and let me make it invalid i'm executing it now this time you can see there is a 400 bad request and this is the error response these are the details about the error email field is not a valid email address and the student name field is required so that is how we can validate it manually but as we are adding the api controller that manual validation of the model is not required so as we are using the api controller that is responsible for validating that one and this code is not required for now i have commented it this time i am executing it i'm just entering the wrong email so that's the wrong email and executing it there is a 400 bad request and it is saying email the email field is not a valid email address so validations are working for more videos like this please like share and subscribe thank you